The last time Texas went to Arkansas, it was not pretty. Ended in a field storming. Ari, I don't think that's going to happen this time. I, I feel like Arkansas and Texas are teams moving in, in fairly different directions. Texas just had a get-right game. Arkansas, the last time we saw them, getting shredded by Ole Miss's offense. Let's talk about Quinn Ewers. His prize picks number on this game, 292 and a half passing yards. What's prize picks, you ask? Well, it is the best daily fantasy game in America. Sign up using the code STAPLES, play $5, and you get $50 instantly. You're picking squares. It's a player attached to a stat category. In this particular case, we're talking about Quinn Ewers, but we could be talking about any college football player. We're talking about guys in the NFL, the NBA. They got it all on prize picks. But let's talk Quinn Ewers. So, Ari, I feel like Texas's offense had its get-right game against Florida. Obviously, Florida, no DJ Lagway. They weren't putting up much of a fight. But we haven't seen Texas's offense operate this smoothly really since before the Oklahoma game. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is kind of interesting, too, to think that, like, Texas's offense is the thing that you are wondering or or saying needed to get right because this was supposed to be – a pretty reliable and, and consistent unit. But when you look at the way that Texas' season has unfold with Quinn Ewer's injury and then the weird quarterback scenario that they had in the Georgia loss, like it just hasn't been a very smooth brick by brick building uh, of, of consistency for them. Um, and now we're heading into mid November and they have a game that they should win pretty handily. And there's still some question marks about whether or not this team is going to play smoothly offensively. Now, the Florida game. Is, a, is certainly a, a right direction, right? But at the same time, too, Florida wasn't having a functional offense. Um, and getting all those possessions is going to be a pretty important piece to that, too, because they weren't moving the ball. So I think this is an important thing. Also, Arkansas has been a team that has looked really good and tricky to beat at times. Uh, I think Texas is going to need Quinn Ewers to perform well to make them look silly if that's what if that's what we're expecting from this game. 292 and a half is his passing yardage number here. You decide if you it would be more than or less than that. I will point out that Jackson Dart threw for 562 yards against Arkansas the last time the Arkansas defense took the field. He averaged 16.5 yards per attempt. That is obscene. And it is as bad as I've seen Arkansas play this year. But remember, they were giving up 10 yards per attempt to Mississippi State the week before. Now, Arkansas won that game. But the week before... That they got beat by LSU in a game that LSU pretty much controlled. Now they Garrett Nussmeyer didn't have a huge day against them, but mostly because he didn't need to, and LSU wasn't really trying to to kill them through the air. Ole Miss just annihilated them through the air. Texas probably has more talent at receiver than Ole Miss, even uh, when when because remember they played without Trey Harris for Ole Miss, so. This Texas team probably will throw more at Arkansas than Ole Miss did in terms of talent. I think I think Quinn Ewers can can hit the more than here. Yeah, I agree with you. And obviously, this is a, a, a crucial spot for him to try to just reassert himself as a star player because I think a lot of people have questioned, um, you know, the quarterback there. And you know, for somebody who has started as much as Quinn has at Texas, it just doesn't feel like he is at a place that you would want him to be. Uh, if you're a Texas fan trying to win a national championship this year. So big spot for him. And, you know, it should go pretty well if things are the way that we think they are. So super excited to watch this. Yeah, it, unless the Arkansas defense just suddenly morphs back into the one that played Tennessee and Texas A&M earlier this season, this should be a fairly productive day for Quinn Ewers in Texas. But we shall see because if that other Arkansas defense shows up, things get very, very interesting in the SEC.